Hello, welcome back to Python video tutorials. In this new tutorial lesson, we are going to see how to use if construct or the selection construct. So, if is used to select a certain block of code on some condition, otherwise, if the condition is not satisfied, something else can be done. So, we can use if alone or if and else or a block of if else. So let us try with a program how the if is working. So we can have some value. We can get some value from the user. Uh, for that we can have a variable x. x will receive some value from the user. So the function used is input. So input will display a message. Please enter a value. Enter an integer. And if it is a fractional number, anyhow for the security reason, the value which is received is being converted to int using int function so when you execute please enter an integer so i am going to enter a, uh, enter a value so i am going to enter here 7 and so now the value of x is 7 x yeah is giving 7 the value of x is 7 now we can use the block of if here actually we have to use everything inside a program then only we will be able to feel it completely but since as the beginning we will try with the interactive mode so this will be more helpful for the learning purpose so in the program we are checking if x less than 0 then make it 0 so we don't want any negative values here we want to make it positive and if it is 0 we will be printing it out negative value is changed to 0 negative value is changed to 0 and suppose if x equal to 0 so equal to equal to I suppose you must be knowing this is the comparison operator so if you want to compare the equality the operator is double equal to but if you are using single if equal to that is an assignment operator so for comparison we have to use double equal to that is the comparison operator if suppose x value equal to 0 so colon determines that there is something else used to come so whichever things are intended after that that will belong to this block of l if this is else if and here we are going to print suppose if equal to 0 then we will print it the value is 0 or less of course it is 0 because if it is 0 yeah 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 it can be less than 0 as well so first case it will handle only the negative number so this will be handling 0 and else if x equal to equal to 1 suppose if the value is 1 so we will be printing 1 similarly whatever we want to go for the process we can go ahead with different selections using this if construct here how it is done if the value is 0 less than 0 do this if it is 0 do this if it is 1 do this block otherwise do this anyhow we have ended a value x equal to 7 the value of x equal to 7 so of course it should print the value is more than 1 yeah value is more than 1 we got the answer so this is the way we have to we can use if construct in python and we learned one thing more that is input input is used to receive some values from the user and one more function that is integer function to convert the value into integer Okay, bye. Thank you for watching this video. Try this program in your system. I suppose you have installed Python and you must have started practicing it as well. Try this program also. And if you like this video, please click like and of course comment your response, your queries and your worries about this program. And if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, please do subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye.